debt has always been accumulated from multilateral development institutions and the Paris Club. And, um, but now the, um, we have more of the debt composition now from private creditors and also from the Chinese, um, from China. What is uh, kind of good is that, uh, that China is joining the uh, other countries in G20 Paris Club uh, Common Framework Initiative uh, as for the private creditors, so it uh, seems that they, they will find uh, common ground on those uh, risk schedulings too. And this, um, of course there was debt forgiveness, but after the debt forgiveness, countries have started borrowing again, and now debt has risen from 20% to um, about 60% between 2005 and, you know, and 2021, which is quite high. With the mounting um, cost of servicing the debt, development projects such as schools, um, roads, and um, projects that will help the country to achieve its sustainable development goal are being crowded out. It's a high proportion of natural resource rich countries that are debt distressed. And they borrowed a lot of money when times were good. Commodity prices was high, economic growth was high. There was talk about Africa rising. Unfortunately, the economy turned around, commodity prices declined, and that complicated was even further when the global economy turned around after the pandemic. The lesson uh, that resource rich in particular need to learn is that when times it good you need to save some of the money and which you use when bad times comes. It's more of a, a mix of creditors and that will uh, complicate the process when you want to restructure uh, the debt for a country because then all Parts, partners have to agree on a, on a, on a strategy. And uh, private creditors are perhaps also less uh, willing to uh, forgive loans. Yeah, private uh, creditors has bought a government bond and have been promised a coupon rate on that bond. So they are, they don't like to have to get less what than, than they were promised. So that also complicates how donors should deal with this because should they restructure debt by subsidizing private investors? Maybe not. Or even subsidize China's high exposure of African debt? Maybe not. So what's the answer? <laughs> well, the answer is that uh, probably all different uh, holders of debt have to come to an agreement and that is what's currently is being discussed under the G20 initiative. Mm -hmm.